Coweta is committed to continuous improvement. This belief for Coweta educators is reflected in a number of ways. Our district has a rigorous strategic plan and schools reflect those goals and objectives in their school improvement plan. In addition, Georgia's teacher evaluation system, Teacher Keys, includes self-reflections and goal setting aimed at increasing student achievement each year. The commitment to continuous improvement is pervasive and extends to many areas of our school community. For more than a decade, Coweta has focused on continuous improvement using a district-based analysis, the Georgia Assessment of Performance of School Standards, which we all call the GAPS process. Typically, each year, approximately six schools participate in a GAPS review, where select educators from across our district visit a school and conduct an analysis based on the school standards. After a period of five years, all schools in the district will have participated in a GAPS review. For the 2015 school year, we're taking our review process to a deeper level. Schools are conducting a self-assessment using advanced ed standards, and they're involving members of their own faculty to complete the ratings on the standards rubric. The purpose is twofold. First of all, we are committed to continuous improvement, and this information will help us get better. But secondly, we're working to prepare for the requirements of our advanced ed visit that's coming up in, at the end of January and the beginning of February of 2016. Many of the advanced ed standards are very similar to the school standards that we have been working with in GAPS. So how would this whole process work? First, let's start with how GAPS, our SACS visit, and our self rating will, it's really alike. All three review processes include a team conducting the rating. The SACS review team will have approximately eight team, team members for, of educators from across Georgia, as well as from other states. The Coweta GAPS process has members from across our school district to conduct the ratings. Our self-assessment process for 2015-16 will have 10 teacher leaders from within the school to conduct the rating on the individual school. All three, three review processes also include observations and interviews. For SACS, the review team will choose specific schools to visit and interview educators, community members, parents, and students and they'll also conduct classroom observations at those chosen schools. For GAPS, this process includes interviewing teachers, parents and students, and community members, and the review team actually is the one that conducts the classroom observations. Our self-assessment does include interviews and observations, but we have some major differences. A major difference with our self-assessments is that schools will have a window of a few weeks to conduct the observations and interviews instead of a day or two like GAPS and SACS. The 10-member teacher team will also interview teachers, parents, students over the next, the first few weeks of school. During the first few weeks of school, also um, another major difference, each teacher in the building will conduct an observation on a peer teacher. So this makes sure that every teacher conducts an observation and every teacher is observed. And this is a big difference between the other two uh, review processes. The observations from the peer observations will be loaded into a SurveyMonkey questionnaire so that the data is summarized easily and automatically for the team. All three processes include the review team rating um, the school or the district using a rubric and at the end, a summary document will be developed through each of these processes. So let's see what has been done up to this point to prepare us for this. First of all, in May of 2015, review teams from each school came together and they were trained. Um, and during that training, the team conducted a first round rating using the advanced ed rubric. A second rating will be conducted in just a few weeks. The team also began to create interview questions um, that they can use to ask to help them more accurately rate the school based on the standards. Team members also used an observation form and rated a teacher um, who was on a video. The observation form is not the exact form that Advanced Ed will use, obviously, but it does have some similar characteristics. The observation form also has similar characteristics from teacher keys, except a major difference is this observation is focused 
on students and what students are doing in the classroom rather than teacher keys is focused on the teacher. So what should review teams start working on now to make sure they are ready? First step, review teams should work within the, with their building administrators to establish a calendar of what they want their of when they want the review activities to occur. Determine the weeks when the interviews and observations will be conducted. Along with the curriculum department, determine the date that the review team will meet together to conduct the second rating, what we're calling the self-assessment meeting. Our goal at Central Office is to have all school self-assessment meeting completed by September the 25th. After schools complete their self-assessment, a similar process will occur at the district level taking all of our school data and compiling all of that together so that we can rate ourselves as a district as a whole. Review teams can begin now also collecting evidence of the standards. Remember that Advanced Ed has already listed some possibilities of items that we might include. That is on our rubric. Review teams can also begin to conduct interviews to help them gather more information for their second rating. Um, results from these interviews can give us a more accurate picture of the school. On the day of our self-assessment meeting, a member of the curriculum department will meet all day with a 10-member review team at each school. Substitute teachers will be provided for these teachers. At this meeting, the team will discuss each indicator for each standard. The team will use interview notes, sub summary observation data, collected evidence, achievement data, and an executive summary that's already been prepared by an administrator. Using all of this information, the team will score the school based on the rubric. The team will also draft a summary narrative for each standard. After the self-assessment day has occurred, the review team will share with others the results of their meeting. The team will gather feedback from the faculty, from school council, or any other stakeholder group that would be appropriate for that school and determine if any adjustments need to be made based on the self-assessment rating. Any last final adjustments make the final rating of the self-assessment. The principal or his or her designee will enter the results of that last rating into the assist platform that Advanced Ed has provided. Our Advanced Ed team members, those who will be coming to Coweta to conduct our rating, they will have online access to this information to review before they come and to use during their um, time here. At the district level, once all schools have completed their self-assessment, curriculum members and other members of the central office will gather all of our school data together and we'll conduct a second rating on the, on the district. As Coweta continually strives to improve so that our students re reach maximum potential, we appreciate your role in helping us not only understand our current strengths and celebrating those, but also recognizing our challenges. We plan for greater growth in the future always. As our mission statement says, as our strategic plan states, and our daily actions reflect, Coweta is committed to student success. And thank you for your role that you play in us reaching um, this goal.